crystal. Hi. Hi. Learning your lines? <laughs> so important in our job, isn't it? Darling, listen, I thought I'd just give you a word of professional advice. Now, don't get me wrong. I think the way you're playing, Sister Virginia, well, I mean, you'd be the next Audrey Hepburn. But there's just one thing. Now, it's not important, but it might add to the credibility of the character. Yes? Well, when I was your age, I played the part of Bessie in Emily Bronte's oh. Jane Eyre. Charlotte Bronte. Well, Charlotte. Emily, no matter. They both use the same typewriter. Now, the thing is, the critics said that I wasn't believable in the part. And you want to know why? Why? Because I was wearing a bra. The director said that the audience couldn't concentrate on my acting because they were looking at, you know, like this. So on the second night, I threw away that bra and I got a standing ovation. I, I suppose you would. You're suggesting I, I play my part braless? If you think it would add to the credibility of Sister Virginia, you know, for the viewers, it's entirely up to you. Seven thousand, that's all. Look, I promise I'll pay you back with interest. Is that uh, costume higher? Yeah. Right. Um, look, we're, we're doing this TV thing, and um, we need to hire a male chastity belt for a few months. No idea. A medium, I suppose. Crystal, you took my advice. And was I right? Don't you feel your entire body now belongs to God? And the mortuary attendant. Andy, anything for me? Oh. Looks like a 50 plus pound from another insurance company. Is Donna right? Are you a badge? A gay symbol? Or are you a sign of macho virility? I know the answer. And so do a thousand women. Now, Julie, we need to do this in one take because we're almost out of tape, all right? Thanks. And we go in three, two, one. Action. That patient was a very fortunate man. Another 24 hours and I'd have been writing out his death certificate. You're a miracle worker, Dr. Willoughby. It was nothing less than genius. Saving lives is my job. And do you know why I do this job? It's because patients write to me, hundreds of patients. Call it fan mail if you like, but I appreciate those letters. And that's why I write back to each and every one of them, including a signed photograph. That's what keeps me going. Those are not her tears. What? Uh, talking of letters, Doctor, I, I had a letter the other day. Where the hell? A uh, very, very, very intense letter pointing out the scandal of our prison service and how the authorities you know? refused to separate the homosexuals from the other prisoners. I think people should write to their MP demanding that this practice be stopped immediately. Um, if it's all right, Dr. Willoughby, I'll go and prepare a bed for the patient. No, no, it's OK. We're back to the script. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> Donna! Donna! Do you know what my ex-wife has just had the gall to suggest? Mm -hmm. She'll let me off the hook if I sign over my half of the house. Can you believe that? Mm-hmm. God, she actually thinks I'm going to sign over my half of the house, my investment, the only possession I have. What a fat chance. I'd rather take my chances locked up in a cell with a bunch of crazed sodomites. Donna. Donna. Could you put my signature on this document, please? Morning, Andy. Ah. Oh, do you want me to give those to Crystal? Sorry, just kidding. 
wish my fans wouldn't keep on writing to me. I never have time to read all this stuff. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> the marble. Brochures? What do you mean you've ordered some brochures? I don't need fucking brochures, Rocco. I want indigo white marble with black streaks. Or oh, forget it and I'll find someone else. Italians. <laughs> Bless. Oh, rapture. Dear Dr. Willoughby, I want to cover your body with treacle and... Dear Miss Sinclair, thank you for your request to see our range of marble. A brochure will be sent to you. Marble? Wonderful world of marble. Marble world. The Marble Factory. Marvellous marble. Melvin's marble. Marble medley. Magnificent marble. Garbled marble. And Joanna Lumley as Dr Willoughby will be back at the same time, 10 o'clock tomorrow. Marble morsels. Captain Marbles. Oh!